Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Free, Executive Director of WNC Communities. And on behalf of WNC Communities and our Board of Directors, I would like to welcome you here today to the Western North Carolina Agricultural Hall of Fame induction ceremony. We are celebrating the 30th year of this prestigious ceremony, and we're honored to manage the program each year to recognize outstanding pioneers in agriculture for our mountain region of North Carolina. Year after year, we enjoy the use of this beautiful facility as the home of the Western North Carolina Agricultural Hall of Fame. And right now, I'd like to introduce the director of the facility here, Jeff Chandler, to welcome you all. Thank you, Jennifer. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Jeff Chandler, the director of the Mountain Horticultural Crops Research and Extension Center. On behalf of the faculty and staff located here at this facility, we we'll just want to recognize for a moment the partnership that we have with WNC Communities in this Agricultural Hall of Fame. Tremendous honor for us working in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at NC State University in partnership with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture to support agriculture, research, and extension programs of benefit to Western North Carolina. This ceremony is always a highlight of the year for us to be able to come together with WNC communities in recognition of this year's inductees. Mr. Terry Rogers, Commissioner Troxler, congratulations to you both and welcome. Thank you so much, Jeff, and thanks to the Mountain Horticultural Crops and Research Center, Extension Center for hosting us for 30 years. The Western North Carolina Ag Hall of Fame was established in 1991 by the Board of Directors of the Western North Carolina Community Development Association, currently known as WNC Communities. And the objectives of the Western North Carolina Agricultural Hall of Fame are as follows to identify and honor significant contributions to agriculture, to recognize individuals who have been responsible for agricultural advancement, and to improve and promote agriculture as the result of the honoree's work within the agricultural community in any phase of agriculture or agriculture-related endeavors. Each year, the Ag Hall of Fame Selection Committee, which is made up of past inductees and leaders in agriculture, receive multiple nominations for this prestigious award. And after thorough review of all the nomination packages and careful deliberation, the committee makes two selections for the induction into the Hall of Fame. And then traditionally, we all gather here in May for the induction ceremony. But here we are in August, and this year's ceremony looks a little different than it usually does. But then again, everything in our lives look a little bit different than it usually does. This room is usually filled with friends and family, past inductees, and other special guests. So we thank you very much for your understanding and willingness to do things just a little differently this year. And we're really excited to be live streaming the event on our WNC Communities video YouTube channel. So I'd like to extend a special welcome to those who are joining us virtually today. We're so glad that you decided to join us. The stream will be archived and will be available for viewing in the future. And for all of our guests in the room today, I'd like to say extra special thanks for taking the precautions that we need to for safe gatherings and we are so fortunate to have such an understanding and accommodating guests here today. It's an honor to be with you here today to induct two more members into the Western North Carolina Ag Hall of Fame. The plaques behind me represent just about 70 important pioneers in agriculture who have shaped our agriculture economy and contributed to the success of agriculture in our North Carolina mountains. Our 2020 inductees are North Carolina Agricultural Commissioner Steve Troxler and Haywood County Farmer Terry Rogers. We have separated our induction ceremony into two sections a day, one for each of our two inductees. 
Steve, and Tro Steve Troxler will be inducted first, and Terry Rogers' ceremony will begin at 1.30. To induct Mr. Troxler today, we have Kay Ray Bailey, the president of WNC Communities. Mr. Bailey has served our organization, WNC Communities, for over 30 years, and in that time, he's been instrumental in contributing to the success of our agricultural programs and has worked with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture on many occasions to support our mission and to serve Western North Carolina. He has known the commissioner for over 15 years. I am pleased to invite Mr. Bailey to the podium to induct North Carolina Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler. Thank you, uh, Jennifer. It is a distinct honor for me to induct North Carolina Ag Commissioner uh, Steve Troxler into the Western North Carolina Ag Hall of Fame. I have in my career introduced and inducted folk into a variety of well-deserved organizations. Today, Commissioner Troxler is the most deserving individual I have seen. And let me tell you why. North Carolina Agriculture Commissioner Steve Troxler was raised in Guilford County and has spent his entire career in agriculture as founder, owner, and operator of Troxler Farms. Over the years, the family-owned farm has produced tobacco, wheat, vegetables, and soybeans. Speaking of the family-owned farm in Brown Summit, North Carolina, the commissioner and wife Sharon to whom he credits for many of his successes, uh, have two sons and daughters-in-law and a total of five grandchildren. To say they dote on the children and grands is putting it mildly. The commissioner says the farm keeps him centered, and that is why he drives to Raleigh to work on a daily basis. In reflecting on Commissioner Steve Troxler's three terms in office, we recognize his outstanding performance in heading up the state's agricultural economy. Strong leader with a high qualified staff of professionals, his dedicated work has brought a high degree of success to the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Since taking office in 2005, Commissioner Troxler has focused on developing new markets for North Carolina farm products, preserving working farms, and protecting the state's food supply. For his work in farming and his public service servant, Commissioner Troxler has been recognized with numerous awards. He was named a 2016 Tobacco Great received a 2015 Distinguished Alumni Award both from the North Carolina State University College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. He received the 2015 Friend of the River Award from the Land of Sky Regional Council. His support of agritourism and several major tourism projects in the state earned him the 2014 Public Service Award from the North Carolina Travel Industry Association. Other honors include the 2013 Forest Converse Conservationist of the Year from the North Carolina Wildlife Federation, the 2012 Matoria Service Award from the North Carolina Soybean Producers, the 2011 Elliot O. Grobner Food Safety Award from the Association of Food and Drug Officials, and the Distinguished Service Award from the North Carolina Agricultural Foundation. And then there was a special recognition uh, from the Western North Carolina communities uh, with a leadership award for his support of the Western North Carolina Livestock Center. Commissioner Troxler's experience in leadership includes the past president of the National Association of State Department of Agriculture, and that's uh, NASDA, former chair chairman of NASDA's Food Regulation and Nutrition Committee, the 2015 NASDA Award for his commitment to food safety. He served as president of the Southern Association of State Department of Agriculture. He serves on the boards of the North Carolina Foundation for Soil and Water Conservation, the Board of Rural Economic Development Center, the Board of North Carolina uh, Biotechnology Center, and he's a member of the North Carolina Tobacco Research Commission and the Southern 
United States Trade Association. In his leadership role, his personal connection with folks at all levels has him standing tall. More notable among his assets are his gregarious personality, his commanding stature, his ability to build a strong network, his influence in national and international agricultural committees, his leadership and influence in state agencies and organizations, including the General Assembly, his ability to demonstrate leadership among his peers, and his networking with grassroots farmers. Notwithstanding the success of the aforementioned broad array of work, his leadership and work related to the agriculture communities in Western North Carolina are worthy of his honor of induction into the WNC Ag Hall of Fame. Significant among this program of work are the WNC Ag Center, North Carolina Mountain State Fair, the WNC Farmers Market, the Mountain Research Station, work with the Division of Soil and Water Conservation, with farmland preservation, with the apple industry, with row crop farmers, and his dedication to forestry, including DuPont State Forest and Headwaters Forest. More specifically, we acknowledge the tremendous work that has been done to favorably impact the ag community through the partnership with Western North Carolina communities. His confidence in WNCC has been most notable in his willingness to entrust our staff with his money to carry out agricultural initiatives. The success through the years has been significant, including the WNC Regional Livestock Center, the WNC Brewers Grain, WNC Forestry Education, the Hemlock Restoration Program, the DuPont State Forest Educational and Visitor Center, the Million Dollar School Energy Grant, the renovation of the WNC Ag Center, uh, the renovation of WNC's Farmer's Market, and many other grants and initiatives, all to benefit the agricultural community, community and the economic well-being of the folks in the mountain region. Through his relationship with uh, the General Assembly, North Carolina Tobacco Trust Fund, uh, the Golden Leaf Foundation, the Farmland Preservation Fund, the North Carolina Rural Center, uh, the Appalachian Regional Commission, and many others. The commissioner has brought millions of dollars into the mountain region for agricultural programs. These highlights are only the more visible events and actions of the support Commissioner Troxler has given to the ag community in Western North Carolina. They are all worthy of recognition. And we all agree, uh, especially from his staff folk, that the commissioner has the biggest heart of anybody uh, you will ever meet. And his passion for the success of today's farm families is demonstrated through his dedication, his commitment, and his support for the continued growth of our agricultural industry. And so, Mr. Commissioner, it's my distinct privilege to induct you into the Western North Carolina Ag Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. President Bailey and Jennifer and all the members of the Western North Carolina communities, uh, I can't express what an honor uh, and a privilege it is to be here today to accept this induction. And uh, I listened to all the projects that uh, we have done together uh, over time, and 
the impact that that partnership has been able to make for the citizens of Western North Carolina, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, there are more things to do, and, and we will do those. Uh, I was reminiscing a little bit on the way up here today. Uh, I met LT Ward, and we uh, struck up a uh, really good friendship, and I got to know him, and I was talking to some people, and I said, you know, I don't know how much you folks pay LT Ward, but it ain't enough for what he does. And they said, oh, he, he doesn't get paid anything. He's just a volunteer. And I said, you're kidding me. But that's the kind of dedication that Western North Carolina communities has had through all of these years and, and made a difference for people in Western North Carolina. Uh, I look at all the in previous inductees, and it's incredible to be even be mentioned in the same breath with the, the previous inductees with all the accomplishments that they've had in their lifetime, and I'm, I'm really, really proud of it. Sharon and I have always had an affinity for Western North Carolina, and that affinity grew even stronger uh, as my son was a Methodist minister in Maggie Valley for five years. And two of our granddaughters were actually born in Haywood County, so that's a, a really close uh, relationship that we've had. But then they also moved over to Mitchell County and were in Spruce Pine for six years. So uh, we, Western North Carolina is a, a second home to us, and uh, the people up here have always been so incredibly uh, warm, and the outreach that I have had from them has been absolutely amazing. I am glad that we have been able to leverage uh, funds for Western North Carolina and uh, there's the projects that President Bailey mentioned uh, didn't happen without a lot of cooperation and a lot of partnerships uh, on each one of the projects. Uh, one in particular that uh, I consider to be a forever project is the Hemlock Willie O'Dayed project to help restore hemlocks to Western North Carolina. That has got to be an ongoing project for years and years and years to come. Or we'll see the hemlocks go the way of uh, the American chestnut. So I'm proud to be able to try to make a difference in Western North Carolina. And I can tell you that in 2013, when I served as the president of the National Association of State Departments of Agriculture, I brought all of the 50 presidents, directors, and secretaries of agriculture to Western North Carolina for the, for the national meeting. Uh, that was so successful, and they uh, loved Western North Carolina so much, they actually asked me to run for a second term so that they could come back. But the responsibilities of being a national president are great, and I think if you do it one time, you've probably done it enough, but I suspect there are many of them that come to visit Western North Carolina because of that, and we're always proud to host them uh, in Western North Carolina. I would be remiss if I did not thank all of the employees uh, of the Department of Agriculture for the hard work that they put in every day uh, and what they say is, my big ideas become their big problems. So they fall in, they work, they get things done, and, and there's no better example than the bridge that was built at DuPont Forest. And uh, Bill Yarborough is here today with me, and he was the mover and the shaker behind that. Uh, when we decided we were going to build that bridge, they said, well, it normally takes two years to build a bridge like this. And I said, that's all well and good, but we're going to open this bridge next July the 4th, and it was already November. Do you know that we opened that bridge ahead of time? So that's what happened when people work hard, they work together, they pull in the same direction, and, and we get things done. Uh, I do have several guests here today that I'd like to introduce. Uh, Fred Patella, a fellow, uh, fellow farmer and super friend here uh, in the West. I've got Mike Stiles, who was uh, my livestock specialist for Western North Carolina. Of course, my wife Sharon, uh, who I have been married to for 48 years, uh, so we've had that partnership a long, long time. I have Dr. Sandy Stewart here, who is my uh, assistant commissioner over everything agricultural. And I mentioned Bill Yarborough, and 
I'm approaching a sad, sad time. As much as you folks know and love Bill, he has decided that he is going to retire at the end of the month, uh, and I have done my best to talk him out of it, but I understand him. But uh, I can assure you that with Bill's retirement, I will be picking a very strong leader to be my special assistant for Western North Carolina, and Bill will be his, his or her coach as time goes on. So everything's going to continue. My chief of staff, uh, Zane Hitchcock, who has been with, the, with me since the very first election that I ran in the year 2000, and he is a wonderful asset uh, to me, and he's always got my back. So President Bailey, uh, I thank you not only your service to Western North Carolina communities, but also to your service to the community college system and all of the time that you have uh, put into that to build, uh, I think, one of the best community college systems in the United States, so I thank you for that. I have to pinch myself and thank God every day for the opportunity that I have been afforded uh, through this position and through the people and the partnerships of North Carolina. It's, uh, it's unbelievable the things that, uh, that I've been able to do after being elected to this position. And I thank Sharon for standing with me through thick and thin. If you've ever been a farmer, there's a lot of thin times, but uh, we've gotten through the thin and got to the, the better times, so I thank her for that. This is an unbelievable honor, one that I will never forget, and one that will make me work even harder in the future for the people of Western North Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. And I suppose the plaque will remain and go on the wall. Is that the way it works? That one is yours, sir. It is mine. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much. And we have one special for the wall. Thank you, and congratulations again, Commissioner. We appreciate all of your hard work and outstanding achievements to agriculture. And thank you all for being here today, both in person and via YouTube, um, to honor Commissioner Troxler for his contributions to agriculture. Let's give him one more big round of applause. I'd like just to make a special thanks to some of the WNC community staff that's helped made this event possible today. Terry Wells, our Director of Community Pro and Agricultural Programs. She is responsible for the whole process of pretty much from the time the nomination packages go out until we're here. So thank you. And Brian Consler, who is um, a staff member here at the Mountain, uh, Mountain Horticultural Cops and Research Extension Center. Um, He's made it possible for our IT, and thanks to Christopher from Asheville Videography for making this able to be able to, to be shared with many people. And again, a last reminder that this is being recorded, and it will be available for viewing on the WNC Community's video channel on YouTube. And a link to that channel can be found right from the homepage of WNC Community's website, which is wncommunities.org. So the induction of our second member, Terry Rogers, will take place um, at 1.30. So join us back here for that on, on the YouTube stream. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. And we wish you a healthy and happy and safe weekend. Um, and just to let you know, after a brief transition, we're, gonna, we're excited that we're going to be able to turn the podium back over to Commissioner Troxler for a very special presentation that will take place just in a few minutes after we do a transition. Um, so we'll be back with you um, very soon. Thank you. <laughs>